are you concerned about falling? In the next year, one in four seniors will experience a fall. Do not allow yourself to become a statistic. Tai Chi is proven to reduce your fall risk by 58%. Classes for all abilities are available throughout DuPage County. Tai Chi. Exercise for life. Exercise for you. So welcome those of you that are, are new to this class. Uh, most important thing is that you look after yourself, do what is right for you. If you feel that anything is not appropriate for you, don't do it. You have chairs, so if you need to sit, sit, whether it be for balance or whatever. Almost everything that we do is just as effective sitting down as it is standing up. So you do not feel any peer pressure to stand up, okay? Hopefully you should all be mature enough to not succumb to peer pressure. And other than that, just follow along with what we do. So first of all, bring your hands up on your collarbone, drop them just below your collarbone and gently tap those two spots. And the rest of the class will help you out as to telling you what's going on and what organ are we working as we tap these two spots. <laughs> kidneys. So we are tapping two acupuncture points for our kidneys to help balance the energy in them so that they function better. These two spots are also really good for helping to energize you and wake you up. Now, if you wanted to make this even more effective, you could do what Pam is doing and you could cross your arms and tap. And this helps to stimulate your brain. But I find this really uncomfortable, so I don't. <laughs> And now tap the middle of your sternum. And this is for two things, one of which is. Not the heart. One. Lungs for breathing and. Thymus. Thymus for the immune system. Yes. So this is one of the things that I do every single day, at least once a day. Because I like breathing and I like my, my immune system to be as good as it can be. And now tap the side of your ribs. And this is for. <laughs> Looks like we are going to have to have a midterm exam. Uh -oh. <laughs> January. This is spleen and your digestive system.
with this do your arms or so I, I'm using my hands to tap. I'm about the bottom of my ribs at the front of my armpits. So what what you use, you know, whether you use your forearm or whatever, doesn't matter. And then loose and relaxed, swing your arms. As loose and relaxed as you can. So I went on the ghost boat tour in the Dells on Saturday night. And I walked up to one spot and one of the people guiding you where you were supposed to walk is standing there swinging his arms. And it was the same guy that was driving the duck I was on earlier in the day. So I'm like, Kevin, you know what this is good for. <laughs> So it shows that it really is a very natural function. And it is good for what? Circulation, yes. Promotes cardiovascular function, glycemic control, and brain function. And a good length of time to swing your arms would be? 10 minutes would be good. What would be better? 20 minutes will be better, and best of all would be? 30. 30 minutes would be best of all. But anything that you can do is better than nothing. So any opportunity you get to swing your arms, swing your arms. Helps your circulation. You can do it while you're watching TV. Do it while you're waiting in the check out line of a grocery store you can do it anywhere do it while you're waiting for everybody to arrive to play bridge it was a good one and if you do this before you play bridge you should perform better stimulate your brain <laughs> So as we have a few new people here today, um, today we will do an exercise called the four movements of Qigong. And this will help you to understand how we will be moving in some of our classes. Um, I do try to mix it up so we do not do the same thing every week. Some stuff is easy, some stuff is a little bit more challenging. But the basic idea is all the same, to promote and cultivate your energy, the life force that flows through your body, to promote balance, stability, and movement. And so many other things. Clinical studies have shown that Tai Chi helps to promote balance. It is the most effective way of improving balance. And it does not need to be the complicated stuff that we do. The very simple stuff of shifting our weight is actually more important because it's how you control the shifting of your weight that determines how good your balance is. And personally, I'm not here for the ability to be able to stand on one leg for hours on end. Is anybody here to be able to do that? <laughs> no, I'm here to reduce my risk of falling. And most falls happen because people do not control the way that they shift their weight. And so as we practice weight shifting, even the simple side to side, 
helps to promote that awareness of how you are controlling your movement. And how you control your movement is what reduces your risk of falling. So Tai Chi has also been shown to improve bone density. Ladies, especially even your 60s and your 70s, you can increase your bone density. I have, I have students that come in and tell me that and they're like, why are you not surprised at that? I'm like, well, I, I hear that a lot. So it boosts your immune system. One study showed by UCLA showed that Tai Chi was more effective than the shingles vaccine at boosting your immune system. And the people who got the vaccine and did Tai Chi, their immune system was way up. It's been shown to slow the progression of arthritis, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's. It's also been shown to mitigate the effects of chemotherapy. So amongst other things, those are a few things that Tai Chi is good for. And again, it does not need to be complicated to do that. Most clinical studies are done on exercises very similar to the ones that we do when we do Jibashi and the four movements of Qigong. Very simple movement. Sometimes less is more. Right, so allow your arms to come to a and turn your waist and allow your arm to swing up nice and loose and relaxed again. And tap the small of your back on the opposite side, inside your shoulder on the front. And take your arms out and allow your waist to come to a head to one shoulder, roll it down around your other shoulder without tilting it back. Bring your other ear to touch your shoulder. Exhale round. Inhale up. Exhale. And One. 
Change of it. So take your ear to touch your shoulder. Roll your head down around to your other ear touches your other shoulder. And then the first ear goes across to touch the shoulder. Again. Exhale round. Inhale. Exhale. And One more. Good. Parting the class. So hands palm up in front of you. Bring the fingertips together. Bring the backs of your hands together. Reach your hands up. As you reach your face, your hands are going to rotate. Your palms touch and your palms are out again. And you're going to stretch up as high as you're safe and comfortable. And bring your arms down the side. Inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, down. Inhale. X. One more. And bring your palms together for opening the sacred tap. Bring your hands up, open your palms towards your face so your small fingers are touching. Bring your fingers at your throat so the backs of your hands come together. And down. Now keep your index fingers touching and just bring your palms to touch it. Inhale up. Open. Exhale. Down. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. So imagine you have a book. Now open that book. Keep your small fingers touching and fold that book back on itself. Put your fingers down. There we go. Good. 
Some of these movements will challenge your mind. And that is good. You do not need to be good at Tai Chi to reap the benefits. You just need to do it. And interestingly enough, the more you struggle with it, the more beneficial it is for you. One. Change direction. So we keep our index fingers touching. Open your palms towards your center. Bring the backs of your hands together. Bring your hands up. Now keep your small fingers touching. Point your fingers at your throat. And bring them over the top and your palms will come together again and down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. So it should flow. So back to your hands are together. Now point your fingers at your throat and just keep them going all the way over the top. And it'll bring your palms together again. One. Rub your palm. Hands and slowly back. So if you are standing, you are going to circle your waist. If you are sitting, you are going to circle your shoulders. Inhale as you move back. Exhale forward. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your head up and your eyes up. Try and fix your eyes on one spot in front of Sorry, Pam, for being right in front of you. You get the worst view of them all. One. Change direction.
one and now for this one you can leave your feet where they are we can bring closer together experience will tell you which works best for you you're going to think about the tip of your tailbone and you're going to try and make your tailbone move in a circle so you're trying to isolate the movements of your pelvis this one takes a little bit of figuring out but once you get it figured out your very lowest lumbar vertebrae will be very happy One more. Change start. One of the most important things you can learn about balance is keeping your head up and your eyes up. And it's probably the thing I say the most in all of my classes. Is head up, eyes up. Because your eyes are such an important part of your balance system. And as soon as you look down at the floor, your balance gets worse. And so being able to keep your head up and your eyes up is really, really important. One. Yeah. Okay, so the four movements of Qigong. The first is up and down. The second is in and out. The third is open and close. The fourth is vertical circles one way. The fifth is vertical circles the other way. And the sixth is up and down again. So yes, the four movements of Qigong has six exercises in it. So nice and relaxed, nice and gentle. How many you do is unimportant. What you ideally want to do is to breathe comfortably and match your movement to your breath. So however long it takes you to inhale is how long it takes your hands to float up. However long it takes you to exhale is how long it takes your hands to sink down. That's the important thing. And if you're halfway through something, when I change, just finish it off and then move on to the next one. So feet shoulder width apart, toes straight forward, so whether you are sitting or standing, knees relaxed, back up straight, head up tall, arms relaxed at your side. So your hands float up to the height of your shoulders. Your hands sink down. Inhale, your hands float up. Exhale, your hands sink down. Inhale. Exhale. Nice and gentle. Nice and relaxed.
push them out. In the next time your hands reach the top, pull into your shoulder. Gently push, pull. Inhale, your hands come in. Exhale. Push. Inhale. The universe expands and contracts. The next time your hands are away from you, your palms face each other. Open to the side and close. Inhale, open. Exhale, blow. Inhale. Exhale.
The sun rises in the east. The next time your hands come together, bring them down. Circle up one side. Across. Down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, Moon sets in the way. The next time you reach the bottom, change direction, circle to the other side. Across and down. Inhale up. Exhale. Down. And And we gather the energy of the heaven. The next time you reach the bottom, bring your hands up to your nose and your hands palm down, press down. Inhale the energy of the stars. Exhale, press that energy down to your center. 
Inhale the energy of the sun. Press that down to your center. Inhale the energy of the moon. Press that down to your center. So we inhale the energies of the universe and we press the energy of the sun, the moon, the stars down into our center, filling us full of energy. When you reach below your navel, turn your palms to face each other. So your fingers are relaxed, space between your fingers, thumbs are the level of your navel. Elbows a little away from your body, creating space underneath your armpits. And just rest and breathe here. And bask in the knowledge that you have everything that you need at this moment. That you need nothing. That you are content. And on your next exhale, let go. 